Poor, poor Shadow Feather. All alone. Her clan is gone, and her chances of survival in a place like this are slim to none. How is she going to survive? Well, we'll just have to see how we can help, won't we? Welcome to the Wastes, the home of a single, lost little warrior whose clan all died in a horrible calamity that she barely managed to escape from. Is this a post-apocalyptic world? Probably, by the looks of things. There might be limited resources, scavengers around every corner, aggressive predators trying to survive just as much as she is, increased amounts of sickness, but maybe we can find some other survivors. It'll be hard to survive alone, after all, and maybe we can make our own clan from literally nothing. Or we can try, right? Well, that's the goal. Shadow Feather here is a young female warrior who, like I said, lost her, lost her entire clan to a tra to a whole calamity tragedy. Basically, whatever it is that wiped out. Did it wipe out everything, or did it just, like, destroy a bunch of stuff? I'm not entirely sure yet. We're, I'm still gonna be kind of piecing together the lore as I go along. We'll come up with it as we go. You guys can also give your suggestions as well. I know you guys love making up your own lore as we go along, too. Um, it doesn't- it doesn't mean, like, there's no more life. There's going to be, like, groups of other survivors, scavengers, who are, tr like, Two legs are gonna be banding together. You can kind of see, like, in the background, some of these, like, houses and stuff. Uh, don't like the looks of some of these barrels here, but hopefully they're nothing too harmful. It should be okay, I hope. But Shadow Feather uh, was a pretty young warrior, actually. Uh, she was righteous and was a prophecy interpreter. I don't know if she ever got to put that to use, but it could be useful in the future. But for right now, she apparently plans to visit the Medicine Cat. I don't know if she actually knows anything to do with medicine quite yet, but it could be useful to- it's a useful skill to learn. That's what it is. It's going to be a useful skill to learn, but before we can even do that, we have to focus on survival, finding other survivors, doing whatever we can to survive. So, apparently we have 60 prey. I don't know how she managed to acquire that, but good for her. And we need three prey to survive. So let's go ahead and see if we can find any other whatever. I don't know what exactly we're going to be looking for. Random patrol type for now, because I don't know what we need currently. Shadow Feather is training alone out on the plains when suddenly the ground trembles beneath their paws. They look around wildly for safe footing. Just as the earth caves in beneath them, the world goes dark. Please tell me she's not gonna die. Shadow Feather tries her best, but unfortunately they're only able to work their head free. The yowl and... Mm, a patrol passes by... Uh, there's no other patrol, so I don't know why it says this happened. I'm gonna say that Shadow Feather, like, spent hours and hours just trying to dig herself free. This is probably... This doesn't surprise me in a place like this, though. There's gonna be precarious footing. There's gonna be a lot of danger around every corner. There's going to be rough goings ahead. Poor little Shadow Feather is barely gonna survive. I, I feel bad, but she's gonna do her best. I hope you're doing okay, sweetie. But there's not much else we can do, so let's move ahead to the next month. Yeah, we have no deputy, no leader, and no no medicine cat. This is what's going to be important going forward. Uh, I've given myself a bit of a rule set, which is actually on my phone, and I haven't pulled it up, obviously. But we cannot have a deputy, leader, or medicine cat until we have a certain number of cats. We could, we need at least one other cat before we can assign a medicine cat, but the they have to have some skill that will, like, lend themselves well to becoming a medicine cat. Like, it could actually be Shadow Feather because she is a pro prophecy interpreter, which could be useful, but like er herbalism is something that's gonna be like really important. Being able to like use herbs, being able to heal, being able to do any of that. And we need, we need at least five cats before we can even assign a leader or a deputy. And no mediator until we have 10 cats, I think is what I said. I don't remember. I don't have I don't have the rule set that I made for myself like on me. 
But yeah, Medicine Cat's gonna be very useful, or I guess I'll just say healer for now. I'm trying to get into the swing of that. But let's see, you are having a good day today. I hope that that lasts. I'm glad that today is going better. This is going to go by pretty quickly at the start. So let's go ahead, send you on the random patrol, and you find a nice spot to sun yourself. Oh, that's nice. The sunlight energizes Shadow Feather for a solo training session. They know just what to work on. Okay, hopefully uh, you're going to be like picking up on some of your extra survival skills, uh, training specifically to like try and hunt in a, like a heavily altered environment, a kind of wasteland like this. Whatever it is, I'm sure that Shadow Feather is going to figure it out. The next moon, we're going to go very quick because we only have one cat. Still nothing major. Uh, is thinking about how awful kitty pet food must taste. Probably considering, is kitty, like, if we come across any kitty pet food, like, I'm like, she's always, like, I thought it'd be a horrible taste, but now with how awful things are, I mean, it could be, like, in a pinch, like, she might have to resort to something like that. Like, it, like, it'd be pretty awful, but, like, still, like, if she runs out of food, it'd be useful to have. I might risk a border patrol because that's more likely to have like extra cats show up and we need to find other survivors is what I've said. So while on patrol, Shadowfeather notices some suspicious paw prints in the mud by the short grass. Please let's bring this cat into the clan because this is usually another ca cat. Boldly, Shadowfeather follows the paw prints to a trespassing rogue and confronts them. Fur puffed up and scowling, they demand the rogue leaves the territory. Intimidated by their confidence, the rogue gives in and leaves without a fight. It could be that somebody was trying to like scavenge from the, the prey pile that she has, the one that has 56 prey somehow. It might be useful if like, I, I kind of wish that Cruel Season was out, but it's probably not going to be for a long while, but Cruel Season would be perfect for this challenge because we have too much prey for this to really be effective. It could be that, like, wherever her prey pile was, she's like she saw these paw prints leading up to wherever her stash is, and she decided to chase off, but she... <sighs> when we only have one cat, some of these don't make a ton of sense. That's the thing. Still nothing on, on Moon 3. But at the same time, like, the seasons are changing. It's gonna get a little bit rough. How are you feeling? You're feeling a bit ill. Oh no. Uh, do we really need to find at least one of the cats so we can have you become a medicine cat or they could become a medicine cat a healer? Another, some suspicious paw prints in the mud. We're gonna just leave them be. They decide not to investigate. It could be, it could be just like another person going by, another cat going by. The next moon, this is gonna be going fast. Why is nothing happening? Yeah, I know, we're not much is gonna be happening. Silently judges another- there's no other warrior. This is gonna be weird. We only have one cat, so we're gonna get a lot of stuff that does not work solo. Maybe they are kind of like remembering like another cat in their clan who wronged them somehow, or someone who they used to like be kind of judgmental about, and now they're kind of feeling, oh man, I wish that they were here at least. Like, I mean, or do I wish, like, they were kind of a pain to get along with. Maybe I'm glad that they're not here. Who knows? Anyways, let's try another... We don't have a ton of prey. Current prey, four. Let's do some hunting. You decide to hunt out near the two leg dens. Fair enough, there's not a ton. Carelessly... <laughs> Shortest clan existence ever. We were taken from Forgotten Clan. Well, what happens if I time skip? Well, for now, this is where the story ends. Perhaps it's time to tell a new tale. <laughs> Let's try this again, shall we? Correction, I did not end up starting over and decided to just skip ahead several moons. And on moon 12, after a long journey, Shadowfeather has finally returned home. And a, a loner apparently, I'm gonna say this loner actually joined her on her way home and decides to take on a more clan-like name, is now called Banzai Tuft. So, Shadowfeather is gonna show them around the camp. 
so this is Bonsai Tuft, who is a young Tom. I really love the way he looks. He's really handsome. Uh, he is compassionate, a great kisser, and a great healer. We need a great healer. So let's go ahead and make you a medicine cat because we need at least one. If you're a great healer, we could use that. So I'm going to go ahead and send you on a hunting patrol. Glimpse the shadow of a fish as they pad past the stream. Okay, do some fishing because we need fish. Patrol moves too suddenly. The flickering shadow causes the fish to quickly vanish into murkier water. Oh, well, you tried. A small amount of prey was brought back to camp. Brought something. And you're only one cat. You'd probably only be able to get a small amount of prey for a while. How are you feeling? You saw some kitty pets playing with colorful moss balls. Do our two legs really concerned with having kitty pets? Hmm. That's interesting to think about. And you're looking around the area with wonder. I kind of like. Th I kind of like that you're here. Like, wow, this is where you used to live. This is pretty impressive. You can do some herb gathering. We have 1.75 prey. Interesting. And you find a nice spot to sun yourself, and it feels great. And you have a successful patrol and gathered some dandelion. Nice. We don't have a ton of prey. We have 1.75 prey, and we need five in order to like keep well fed. As long as we don't die, that's going to be all we care about. So let's move on to the next moon. We don't have enough prey for the next moon. Not surprised. But Shadowfeather Mews, congratulations to Bonsai Tuft for a job well done. Bonsai Tuft turned to Shadowfeather in time need only for Shadowfeather to abandon them. Oh, that is... Dude, come on. Shadowfeather, you don't abandon Bonsai Tuft. You need that They helped you come home. Bonsai Tuft helped you come home, I think. It could be like Bonsai Tuft feels abandoned, but Shadowfeather was like nowhere close by, was a little too busy elsewhere, was nowhere nearby, or was out of earshot when Bonsai Tuft like called for, called for them and feels abandoned. That could be it. Bonsai Tuft is new and is also prancing around in front of Shadowfeather. Interesting. What do you guys feel about each other, actually? Siri relationships? I see that there is a decent amount of platonic-like and a tiny bit of romantic-like. Interesting. How do you feel about Bonsai Tuft? Kind of the same. Interesting, interesting. There is that trust as well. That trust is probably developed like on your journey back home. And you are checking up on the warrior, singular, who would be Shadowfeather. And Shadowfeather is praying to Star Clan for guidance. Oh yeah, I do not blame you. You're at the point where you're like, you're all about survival. You're gonna need your ancestors more than ever if you're going to survive any of this. What season is it? It's Greenleaf, apparently. Uh, and if we go ahead, send you to gather some prey. We have three prey. We could definitely use some more. Let's do some hunting. Come across the thunder path running through the grasslands. I would not risk going across the thunder path currently. So it's better not to cross and no prey. Well, you can do some herb gathering. You encourage the oak, uh, green leaf encourages the oak to reach its full potential, wide and towering, and Banzai Tuft goes to harv collect a harvest of its leaves. That'd be very useful. Uh, the shade of the oak tree makes the ground beneath it cool and bodes well for harvesting its leaves. That's nice, that's nice. Good, good, good. And as we continue on, we don't have enough prey for next moon, but we can certainly try. We only have one piece of prey. Shadow feather. Uh, let me actually see what you guys are doing. Uh, you're, there's no apprentices to, who, to complain about their training, so I don't know. Maybe you're listening. Maybe you're thinking about of Shadowfeather complaining. Is Shadowfeather complaining? And Shadowfeather's thinking about Star Clan. Yeah, like it, it like if, has Star Clan like abandoned you like this past moon, this past year? Who knows? But you're going to you're wandering past an old badger set overlooking a crook in a little river. I meant to have you do a hunting patrol, but it's okay. There's a new sense here, Acorn Sour. 
Are you kidding me? Shadowfeather carefully approaches the burrow, trying to figure out if it if there's anything new inside. It's so dark and it all smells the same. They try to creep just a little closer, but the ground drops away steeply beneath their paws and they lose their footing, skidding right into the disturbed badger's lethal jaws. Shadowfeather has the worst luck. But we still have one cat. Bonsai Tuft, who is currently a medicine cat. Only needs two prey to survive, apparently. And you can stock up on some cobwebs. I don't know if Bonsai Tuft even knows what's happening. You gather some cobwebs. No, no cat will have the chance to bleed out. Not now, not with so many cobwebs to staunch their wounds. No cat's gonna bleed out except for Shadow Feather, who unfortunately did not return that night after patrol. Shad at least Bonsai Tuft is here. Bonsai Tuft, I'm probably going to have to temporarily make you a warrior because you need to do hunting. You need to hunt. I will make you back into a healer in the future, but... The past moon, Shadowfeather has taken their place in Star Clan. Um, Bonsai Tuft mourns their loss and will miss the spot that they took in their lives. Uh, moments of their life are shared in stories. Yeah, well, there's not really a ton of cats, so the whole monument doesn't quite work. This is a solo clan. We don't have a lot to work with. And you want to be chosen as a new deputy. Uh, you're gonna be the medicine cat again. You're gonna be the healer again. And you, you have three prey. Okay, okay. Do some hunting. Tempted to eat the prey you just caught. I don't care. Go ahead. You, they were, you resist the temptation going on to make a couple of great catches to make sure that you'll have enough to survive off of. Awesome. Let's move on to the next moon. Still not a ton of cats. You plan to become the medicine cat as soon as you're able. It does say um, you're living life as a loner. Okay, because sometimes they have like some interesting stuff to like note. You join. You join by choice. I'm gonna say that you came with uh, Shadow Feather. Okay, you have a decent amount of prey. I'm gonna send you on a border patrol this time. Large dog. We are not going near that. We have to be careful. We're trying to find other survivors now. That is the main thing. I like how we're like 16 moons in, and we still only have a single cat. We had two for a while, but well. We still don't have enough medicine cats. I know that. We don't have enough healers. You're probably, like, trying to see if there's enough herbs. If I look here... Yeah, you're, you're probably just checking to make sure the herb, store, the herb stores aren't, like, going bad or anything. But... Let's go ahead and go on another patrol. Um... The Raven Clan border. Oh, there's another clan border. The moon hangs heavy in the sky and their eyes dart around, taking in their surroundings. Did they make it here unnoticed? Did you? They crouch up sight and wait, still as a stone. After a short while, there's a soft call across the border. Perking up, Bonsai Tuft rushes forwards, pushing their nose into the fur of a cat from Raven Clan. <laughs> Tails entwined, they talk in hushed voices until the stars start to blink out. With a soft goodbye, each returns home and with their clans on Hello? Bonsai Tuft, you don't have to hide. You, they're literally completely alone, but uh, Raven Clan probably does not want Bonsai Tuft to join them. That could be what's going on. I'm very curious what the heck is happening here. Different groups of survivors would probably have different reasons for keeping certain cats out. Is what I'm gonna say. It'd be better if Bonsai Tuft were able to join another group of survivors, but... Uh, well... So we still have nothing to see here. You are still trying to organize the herb stores, and it's, it's winter now. It is leaf bare, which is dangerous time. But let's try going on another border patrol, Bonsai Tuft. An ambush. Uh, let's... Oh, let's avoid. Bonsai Tuft turns tail and races away. The rogues have them far enough outnumbered. Warning the clan is more important than dying needlessly. Yeah, we don't want to die needlessly. We don't have a clan to take care of, but we want to survive. This is what this is all about. Survival. We have to survive in this world. Because... This is not a hospitable world. 
it would be very useful if we could find at least one other cat that we could live with. Okay, one money make a quick check on the border. And Bonsai Tough marks the border, they encounter a garlic border patrol garlic clan border patrol. It even includes a young apprentice whose eyes go round and fur fluffs up and encountering a real outsider. Bonsai Tough plays along, acting very impressed with a hard-working apprentice, and the apprentice's mentor purrs gratefully. And yet, still, like, going it alone. I think that maybe, like, you're trying to honor... You did have a tiny bit of romantic interest in Shadow Feather, so maybe you're trying to honor Shadow Feather's memory by not leaving this place. That could be why you're not trying to join up officially with any other groups. Like, you did have that little bit of a fling with a cat from Raven Clan, but you're not joining up with any other groups because this was... This was Shadow Feather's home, and you did care for her. So... 20 moons. Still nobody else. You almost got lost near some two-leg nests. Please, I cannot lose another cat to two legs. This is gonna be a very difficult game. This is, this is gonna be difficult. We have... Just enough prey, I'm gonna have you go hunting. As you head out to hunt, Bonsai Tough thinks about the dream they had. Was it sent by Star Clan? I mean, you were hoping to, that, like, to be the healer. And, I mean, Shadow, Shadow Feather did have the whole prophecy thing going on, so maybe it's a dream that you had about Shadow Feather. Somehow, hunting brings Bonsai Tough to an almost meditative state. And not only are they fairly confident of their next steps, having been given this vision, but they also bring back a good haul to the prey pile. Meaning that we have plenty of prey for the next day, I'm sure. Yeah, 11. Still nothing. You notice uh, how well, like, you're taking care of yourself, and hey! Hey! We're back to- we're back to, uh, New Leaf. It's spring! So let's go ahead and do a border patrol, because we, at some point, border patrol will pay off. We will find another cat. Suspicious paw prints in the mud by the short grass. This one I've never had have a new cat join, but quickly, at least to a trespassing rogue, you hide yourself in the long grass and set up an ambush that sets the rogue fleeing off of the territory. The rogue was probably like, again, a scavenger trying to steal supplies. Still nothing. You're help. You're organizing the stores again. There's really not a ton in here. Just enough in a pinch, maybe. But again, it happens. We're gonna go ahead and chase off that same cat. Here's the thing. If it happens a third time, I might pick somebody. If your guys are still watching, I might. Like next episode, I might. If if we get a, if we get a third encounter with that rogue that Bonsai Tuft is running into, I might pick somebody in the comments. If you like, leave a comment like leaving a cat, like describe them. I might code them in to the save. I might do that simply because this is getting ridiculous. We have nobody else. And we are not going to try and confront these rogues. We, we cannot die. This is getting ridiculous. Please. For organizing stores, we need stuff to happen. We find a loner who is interested in joining the clan. They banter with the cat a bit, making them feel more welcome. Yes, please. Uh, don't have to do much convincing. Uh, the loner seems happy to join. Okay, we have fish eyes. Fish eyes, let me meet you. Oh, you are a very pretty cat. Uh, you are cunning, a great speaker, and a great hunter. I mean, the bonsai tuft. I can make you, once again, the medicine cat. Huzzah. Fish eyes is getting used to their new home. You got washed away from your former territory in a flood that destroyed their home, but was glad to find a new home in their new clan here. Okay, so there was a flood that washed you away, but now you're here. So I'm guessing you probably lived somewhere that had like a giant dam that got destroyed in the calamity that washed you like down river until you start just like trudging your way trying to find some place to live and now you're... It's good to have you. It's good to have you. 
Bonsai, how about I also have you do some hunting? Uh, we're not having you go across the Thunderpath, though, so... Next Moon. Uh, we don't have enough prey from Next Moon, but Fish Eyes has gotten heat exhaustion and you overexerted yourself feeling extremely sore. You cannot hunt. You daydream about being a warrior in Tiger Clan? Okay. And meanwhile, you decline to eat when prey is low. I can understand. We have a very in sick and injured cat here. So I really hope that you can take care of them. Go ahead, gather some herbs. Greenleaf's bounty means that finding dandelions shouldn't be any trouble. Uh, truly, dandelions are an essential herb to stock, keep, crucial for poison and stinks. The white milk in their roots and stems keeps for a long time and is a potent cure for poison. Their leaves are weaker, but fast-acting can be chewed into poultices. Even the fluffy dandelion heads are useful as a Forgotten Clan ki kitten's favorite short-lived toy. Well, we can't really use that currently, but it's good to keep- it'll be good to keep fish eyes occupied. So... We'll move on. And your soreness has abated. Awesome. But you still have heat exhaustion. You're malnourished. And we don't have any prey. We ca I can't have you not be the healer. Um... You know what? I might temporarily make you a warrior, just so you can do some hunting. I'm gonna just temporarily make you a warrior to do some hunting. Catches a mouse nearby, and decent amount of prey is caught. Awesome. But I'm also gonna go ahead and switch you back to a healer. I need- I'm gonna be doing this every single time, just so I can have you do some hunting. But I also need you to be able to heal. I'm gonna be doing that because we do have the two cats. I, I actually, I could have done that from, for a long time, couldn't I have? Oh well. Fish eyes managed to recover from their heat exhaustion. Awesome. And you're, you're still sick, you're malnourished. And you have 100% nutrition. Why do you have 100% nutrition and not fish eyes, hmm? Well, why don't I send fish eyes to do some hunting? Caught the scent of a mouse nearby, caught a huge amount of prey, drops into a practice crouch, shimming flawlessly along the ground, and taking the per perfectly plump mouse per completely by surprise. Eleven prey, that should be good. Bonsai Tuft. Leafall holds the last chances to stock up on herbs that will die off in Leaf Bear, and Bonsai Tuft heads out to gather the fresh mallow for the stores. Excellent, we got some mallow. And you're probably listen listening to Fish Eyes complain about their training, and Fish Eyes spent last night stressing over possible disasters. Fair enough. I mean, it's pro you're probably complain like stressing over like your your complaining is probably about disasters and bonds. It's like really you're complaining about all this. You're, you're starting to get along a little bit with Fish Eyes. Uh, Fish Eyes kind of gets along with Bonsai Tuft. A little bit of dislike there, but. It'll, it'll go well, eventually. Let's go one more moon before the end of the episode, shall we? Bonsai Tuft brought a litter of three kits back to camp, but refused to talk about their origin. How, how much do you want to bet that those three kits are from Raven? How we can take care of three kits? Holy crap. Uh... Yeah, let, let's see these kits. We have Long Kit... Slight Kit and Wild Kit. They definitely have the same look. Holy crap. I'm guessing that you're you're born with you're born from that Raven Clan cat. But apparently like maybe there's something going on that like she wasn't able to take care of them within Raven Clan and for some reason decided a single lone survivor on his own is better or maybe like the clan decided, maybe Raven Clan decided, hey, we can't take in any new, any new mouths to feed. We're struggling enough as it is, and so she was like, well, I can't let them just die here. I'm gonna leave them with you, and maybe I'll stop by, like at some point, see if I can feed them, and I'll have to sneak back. I kind of like that idea. You're picking the birds from your pelt, probably from meeting up with your Raven Clan mate. 
And Fish Eyes is trying to set a good example for the new kids. Aww. I kind of like that. So let's see, let's send you hunting, because we have kits to feed as well. Uh... I'm not risking Thunderpath until we have at least five cats at this point. It's better not to cross. It's too risky. You can do some herb gathering. Blackberry plants, uh, you head out to take advantage. Uh, you p attempt to pick your way through the blackberry thorns to reach the leaves, but it soon becomes clear that it's a hopeless task. Aw, it, it's alright. Let's look at their personalities. Um, let's see, you are nervous. The little long kit's nervous. Slight kid is charming. I do like that little stripe you've got. You're gonna have cobalt eyes. You're also gonna have cobalt eyes. The, all three of them are gonna have cobalt eyes. I hope that you look a little bit different from your litter mates. That is gonna be the exact same. And you're troublesome. Well, this troublesome kid's gonna be fun. This is, this is gonna be fun. I can't wait to see what these kids are like. But we're surviving an apocalypse. We have three mouths to feed. Uh, our founder has already died. But we have two cats who are going to be trying to make this work. Uh, hopefully, I can make this work. This is a very experimental series I'm doing, trying to bring Clangen back to the channel. Uh, I hope that you guys are en are going to enjoy it. Uh, I want to I want to see if I, how far I can take this before either I completely fail the challenge because losing just one cat like two moons in ridiculous I, I like i was gonna not count that anyway but having like if i if i if i lose the entire clan again we're in trouble but i hope you guys have enjoyed if you do please be sure to hit the like button leave a comment down below letting me know what you think if you haven't already, please do be sure to subscribe so you won't miss any future episodes, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Stay safe out there, everybody.